All right, this PowerPoint video is going to be flow problems, velocity. Preface, I claim no ownership to any of the questions and material presented in this video as everything is sourced off the open internet. In the following slides, I have to the best of my knowledge presented the proper formulas and correct answers to the questions that follow. Uh, making this as a study guide for me, again, Doing these PowerPoints has really helped me cement this information. Uh, it's helping me study for my exam. If it helps you too, that's great. As always, I'm in the state of Florida. They give you a conversion formula sheet when you take the test. Um, this is it. Flow rates and velocity, page four. I will have this broken down and in the following slides, but here's your flow, flow rates and velocity formulas. Again, I always recommend if your state gives you a formula sheet when you take your tests, that you get familiar with it, how it's set up, so that when you do take an exam, you know where to find things. Question number one. What is the velocity of flow in feet per second for a six inch diameter pipe if it delivers 275 gallons per minute? All right, we're gonna start with our knowns and our unknowns. And we have our formulas down here in the corner. So what we know is that we have a six inch diameter pipe flowing at 275 gallons per minute. Our unknown is our velocity in feet per second. So flow rates, uh, so Q equals volume times area. We're looking for the velocity in feet per second. So we're gonna have to rearrange our problem. So velocity in feet per second equals the flow rate divided by the area Notice our units of measurement, cubic feet per second and square feet, our knowns are not in cubic feet per second or square feet or feet that is, they're in inches, gallons per minute. So we're gonna have to do some converting. So area of a circle, 0.785 times diameter squared, this is in feet. So we're gonna have to convert our six inches into feet. So you do six inch times one foot. And there's 12 inches in a foot. So you're gonna divide by 12 inches so that your inches cancel out. So inches cancel out. You get 0.5 feet. Plug that into your area formula. 0.785 times 0.5 feet squared, which is 0.5 times 0.5, and end up with an answer of 0.196 square feet. We can go ahead and plug that into the bottom of our velocity equation. Now we need to convert, convert our gallons per minute into gallons per second, because it's looking for velocity in feet per second. So we're looking for seconds or 60 seconds in a minute. So you're gonna times 275 by one minute is 60 seconds. Your minutes will cancel out. And we'll leave you with 4.58 gallons per second. Next, we have to convert into cubic feet because the answer is flow rate in cubic feet per second. So there is 7.48 gallons in a cubic foot. We want gallons to cancel out, so you have to divide, do your division, gallons cancel out. Excuse my scribble. Let me fix my scribble quick. So gallons canceled out, and you're left with seconds. So after you divide, you have 0.612 cubic feet per second. Throw that into our formula. 
0.612 cubic feet per second divided by 0.196 square feet. So you're going to lose your square. You're going to end up with 3.12 feet per second. So that's your velocity. So relatively short worded problem it took a lot of work to get to the answer. Question number two. Water is flowing through a channel that is six feet wide and three feet deep. If the flow is 28 cubic feet per second, what is the velocity of the water? All right, so what we know is the channel six by three feet. And what we also know is the 28 cubic feet per second. We're looking for velocity. Velocity feet per second is equal to flow rate in cubic feet a second divided by the area square feet. So uh, we already have the uh, 28 cubic feet per second. So we need to solve for the area, which is on a square rectangle is length times width. So we put the six foot by three feet, do multiplication, get 18 square feet. Plug the 18 square feet into your formula. And your answer is 1.55 feet per second. Question number three. What is the velocity of flow in feet per second for a three inch diameter pipe if it delivers 72 gallons per minute? So what we know is the diameter of the pipe and the flow. We're looking for velocity, it's our unknown in feet per second. Again, Velocity feet per second is equal to the flow rate cubic feet per second divided by area in square feet. If you notice our knowns, we're not in the right units of measurement, so we have to do some converting. First, we're going to convert to 72 gallons per minute to gallons per second. So divide by 60 seconds to get in seconds. Gives you 1.2 gallons per second. Now we need to get that into cubic feet per second. And if you remember, for every cubic foot, there's 7.48 gallons. We want the gallons to cancel out, so we're going to divide. We get 0.16 cubic feet per second. We're going to plug this into our formula. All right, now we need to solve for area and square feet. We have a cylindrical pipe with a diameter given, so that would be 0.785 times the diameter squared. But this is in square feet, so we need to convert the inches into feet. There are 12 inches in a foot, so 3 inches divided by 12 inches. You get 0.25 feet. You plug the 0.25 feet into your formula. So 0.785 times 0.25 squared, so times itself, you get 0 0.05 square feet. Plug that into your formula. 0.16 cubic feet per second divided by 0 0.05 square feet. And that's going to leave you with an answer of 3.2 feet per second. One thing I did want to point out is that if you did the formula all together and did 0.16 cubic feet per second divided by the area and did the mass straight across, you would actually get the answer to be 3.26, which would actually round to 3.3. Um, any test I've seen the answers are usually far enough apart that they're not that close. But I just wanted to point out, like, if you were doing it this way, you would actually get a different answer because you'd have one more decimal to round. Question number four. Flow through a 5.2 foot wide channel is 35.5 cubic feet per second. If the velocity is 1.7 feet per second, what is the depth of the water in the channel? 
All right, so this one's going to be a little different. So we have our knowns, which is the flow, 35.5 cubic feet per second, the velocity of 1.7 feet per second, the width of 5.2 feet, and this one we're looking for the depth. So we have our formula here, the flow equals the area, which is length times height times velocity. So we're going to have to rearrange this formula because we're looking for the depth. Depth and height are the same thing. We're going to move the height slash depth over, and we're going to move the flow over. So the height or depth is equal to the flow divided by the area, but we took the height out, so just the length times velocity. So you can plug in your 35.5 cubic feet per second divided by 5.2 feet times 1.7 feet per second. So the bottom will be the 8.84 square feet per second. So when you do your division, your square feet will cancel out your cubic feet and you'll just left these feet and your seconds will cancel out leaving you with an answer of four feet so the depth is four feet question number five a channel rectangular shape is six feet wide with a water flowing through it at a velocity of 2.3 feet per second what is the depth of the channel if the flow through the channel is 22.7 cubic feet per second. Again, we're going to go with our knowns and unknowns. So you have the width of 6 feet, a velocity of 2.3 feet per second, and a flow of 22.7 cubic feet per second. And again, we're looking for the depth. So your formula is the flow equals the area, length times height, times velocity. Again, height and depth are the same thing. We're going to rearrange the formula to solve for the depth slash height. Is it rearranged? So the height slash depth is equal to the flow divided by the area. We took the height slash depth out times velocity. So 22.7 cubic feet per second divided by 6 feet times 2.3 feet per second. The bottom is going to be 13.8 square feet per second. So your square feet and your cubic feet will cancel out and leave feet. Your seconds are going to cancel out. That's going to leave you with the answer of 1.6 feet. So the depth slash height is 1.6 feet. Question number 6. Water flowing through a full pipeline has a velocity of 3.2 feet per second. If the flow through the pipe is 1.74 cubic feet per second, what is the diameter in inches of the pipeline? All right, so here's another version of this question. So our knowns, we know the velocity of the pipe is 3.2 feet per second, and we know the flow through the pipe is 1.74 cubic feet per second. What we don't know is the diameter of the pipe in inches. So remember our base formula is flow is equal to the area. Now this is for a pipe, so it's, and they give us diameter, so 0.785 times diameter squared times velocity. We're trying to solve for the diameter, so we're going to rearrange this formula. So the diameter squared is equal to the flow divided by the area of 0.785 times velocity. So 1.74 cubic feet per second divided by 0.785 times 3.2 feet per second. So we do the math on the bottom, it gives you 2.51 feet per second. So we're gonna do our division. The cubic feet will cancel to square feet. The feet and the seconds will cancel out. Leaves you with 0.693 square feet. Now it's diameter squared. So hopefully your calculator has that little square root button. 
hit the square root button diameter equals 0 0.832 feet but we're looking for the diameter of the pipe in inches so we got to convert the feet to inches there are 12 inches in a foot we want feet to cancel out so you're going to multiply feet cancel out diameter of your pipe 10 inches question number seven what is the velocity of flow in feet per second for a four inch diameter pipe if it delivers 148 gallons per minute so what we know is the diameter of the pipe is four inches the flow is 148 gallons per minute we're looking for the velocity so the velocity is equal to the flow divided by the area we have diameters of a pipe so 0.785 times diameter squared we're going to go ahead and solve for the cubic feet per second for the flow it's 148 gallons per minute divided by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot times 60 seconds in a minute so your flow is 0.33 cubic feet per second go ahead and plug that into your equation now we need to solve for area remember it is in square feet so we have to convert inches it's 12 inches in a foot and we want to cancel it out so you're going to divide so four inches divide by 12 inches in a foot inches will cancel out leaving you with 0.33 feet put that into your area formula once you do the math and everything cancels out your velocity is 3.86 feet per second all right so that was a seven questions using the velocity formula in different ways to solve for different parts um, like I always say this this is helping me study and get prepared to take my exam um, if it helps you guys too that's great thanks